Unraveling idioms, having someone's hair, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel an intriguing expression, having someone's hair. If you've ever heard someone say this and wondered what on earth they meant, you're in the right place. We're about to explore its meaning, origin, and how you can use it in everyday conversation. So, let's get started and demystify this peculiar phrase. First things first, let's break down what having someone's hair actually means. Interestingly, this phrase isn't widely recognized in standard English and might be confused or conflated with other idioms or expressions related to hair. However, in the realm of idiomatic expressions, talking about someone's hair can be quite metaphorical. For instance, saying you've got someone by the hair could imply having control or a significant advantage over them, akin to expressions like having someone in the palm of your hand or having the upper hand. It's easy to get tangled in the myriad of hair-related idioms and phrases. Some might think having someone's hair refers to a literal possession or perhaps a more figurative sense of influence or connection. In reality, without a widely recognized usage, this phrase might be a mishearing or a mix-up with more common expressions such as pulling someone's leg, meaning to joke or deceive, or letting your hair down, meaning to relax or be at ease. Given its ambiguous nature, having someone's hair would be best used with clarity around its intended meaning. If you're aiming to convey the idea of control or advantage, it's crucial to provide enough context for your audience to grasp the metaphor. For example, in a competitive scenario, you might say, in this chess game, I finally got his hair. He can't move his queen without losing it. This clearly illustrates you're in a position of advantage, not literally holding someone's hair. To avoid confusion, consider using more universally understood idioms with similar meanings. Phrases like, having the upper hand, in the driver's seat, or calling the shots, convey control and advantage without the ambiguity. These expressions are widely recognized and less likely to be misunderstood in both casual conversations and formal discourse. While having someone's hair might stump even the most seasoned lingua files, it's a great reminder of the English language's complexity and charm. Idioms and expressions vary widely, and their meanings can be as diverse as the speakers themselves. We hope this exploration has shed some light on this curious phrase and perhaps inspired you to delve deeper into the fascinating world of language. Remember, whether you're letting your hair down or trying to get a grip on idiomatic expressions, the journey of learning never ends. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to uncovering more linguistic mysteries together.